fourth inning, you guys put up those four runs and then KC came back with six in the bottom half. Um, how much does that just kind of take the wind out of your sails in a moment like that? Um, it can definitely do that, I would say. Uh, those those moments are really big. Whenever whenever any team puts runs on the board, uh, you know, everyone looks at each other and, you know, you, you look for that uh, shutdown type uh, situation the next inning, and it, it, it can kind of catapult you uh, in, in some of these games. Um, there's no guarantees with that, obviously. We know that, uh, you know, you have to play the full game out, and, and even if you don't get it done that inning and, and you end up in a close ball game again, you just have to keep playing. Our guys know that. But, uh, you know, to put up those runs, it was a pretty big moment for us, but then it was a big moment, you know, the, the next half inning when, uh, when they put up those runs, and, and I'm sure they were feeling good after that. Jake had said that he knew he wasn't going to be perfect and he was really anxious to just kind of get back into the rotation. What did you think of his three innings of work tonight? Well, I think he, he had to work really hard to get through, um, to get through those three innings. Uh, I don't, I don't think he was uh, ultimately uh, really comfortable at, at any point in the start. Um, it was hot. I think he had a tough time gripping the ball too. Um, I think that was definitely a factor, uh, maybe with the split as much as anything else. Uh, I think it was good to get him out there. It was good to get him to throw, you know, somewhere around 70 pitches, I think, and uh, to get him back in the swing of things because Jake's going to be ready to go. We're going to need him, and uh, he'll be ready to go next time around, and I think that'll be a, a much, uh, you know, probably different start for him. Phil? Uh, Racco, uh, how is uh, Marwin? That uh, looked kind of nasty. And how is uh, Buck? And we're uh, kind of holding your breath on that block. Yeah, I think Marwin's doing uh, okay. I think the ball hit him pretty good. When we got out there, he said he kind of smiled at us a little bit and said, I'm going to be fine. Just uh, I'll take a second. And, you know, we told him to take as much time as he needs. So ultimately, he's been uh, playing really well, both offensively and on the defensive side of the ball, anywhere we put him. Uh, he's been doing a fantastic job. Uh, Buck uh, came out of that wall collision really good. Uh, the The way he approached that ball um, is something that he's been spending some time on. We saw him uh, uh, make a, a similar try to make a similar catch at home at one point, um, but but trying to attack the ball and also hitting the wall kind of with his back, taking the brunt of it as opposed to you know running straight ahead and leaping off of one foot into the wall. Um, so that was nice to see, and it was a really nice play. Other questions for Rocco? Hey, Rocco, uh, Thorpe's been down a couple miles an hour the last couple times out. Are you guys seeing anything in particular? Is it mechanics? Uh, anything going on with him? So, I mean, my opinion would be um, probably not as good as maybe Wes's, but I, I, I don't see anything mechanically. We haven't discussed anything mechanically related to that. His, his velo is, uh, is down a little bit from uh, where he would normally be. Um, and that, and that does matter. It's, it's harder to pitch when you're, when you're down a couple of few miles an hour, um, you know, on any given pitch, especially, you know, coming in for shorter spurts and not really, you know, today, uh, in that situation, uh, he was hot and, and ready to come in the game. There were some lefties coming up in the lineup. He's probably only going to face a few guys, um, you know, as opposed to going out and throwing 50, 60, 70 pitches. Uh, and the velo was, was similar. So um, we'll probably regroup and, and take a look and see what we can find. Rocco, Buck having homered in three straight now. Um, along the way you've mentioned he keeps hitting the ball hard have there been any adjustments made at all to get to this point or is it just a matter of just carrying through and continuing to get the reps to get here yeah i think it's timing i think he uh he's been on a lot of good fastballs but then he's also hit some breaking balls really hard as well so um knowing that you know he can do that and for his own approach at the plate i mean that's got to feel really good knowing that you can uh catch up to some good heaters and then when they leave a pitch in the zone that's spinning still be on it. Um, I mean, the home runs that he's hitting are, they are well struck. And, uh, you know, I, this is what we saw a lot from him last year. This is, uh, a, you know, more of the same. Um, and with him, I think a lot of it is just timing and, and getting back up, up there and getting some at-bats. All right, guys, we'll let you go.